The overall goal of this procedure is to demonstrate a Xenopus oocyte, an animal cap system, suitable for the identification of gene products capable of inducing a response in competent ectoderm. This method can help answer key questions in the field of developmental biology, such as what genes are necessary to elicit an inductive response. The main advantage of this technique is its use of the Xenopus oocyte as an expression system to produce and identify inducers acting upon a target tissue, or even genes acting upstream of inducers. Visual demonstration of this method is extremely useful, as the dissection and recombination steps are highly stage dependent and require a refined technique. After collecting ovarian tissue from anesthetized female frogs, tear the tissue into small pieces, each containing approximately 10 to 20 oocytes, and transfer these fragments first to fresh OR2- solution, and then to OR2- containing 2.0 mg per milliliter collagenase A. Continue by gently agitating the tissue-containing mixture on a shaker for one hour. Then, Transfer the fragments to fresh collagenase solution and agitate for an additional hour. Expect to observe defolliculated oocytes at the end of this treatment. Proceed to wash the oocytes 10 times in complete OR2, and then twice in oocyte culture medium, abbreviated as OCM. Afterwards, place the oocytes in fresh OCM and visually inspect them under a dissection microscope. Isolate those at stage.